Hello guys and of course welcome back to yet another part and this is 12th of September that's just for our friends purposes. Well somebody inboxed me and said I've been making odds of two but after first or second day I do I fail because I can't choose the right teams. In fact I can't choose the right markets to be specific that can produce odds of two. Now I've decided to decrease my odds to one and I did make profit on day one, day two, on day three I failed. And I think it's because I don't have the right markets. I don't know which are the perfect markets or are the markets that have higher chances of winning so that I can actually continue with my pattern maybe to day 20. So now I decided to make these guys to correct people on that. First things first, when you're making something like this of this nature, this pattern that people like, you do this. Let me make an example using mine. Odds of 1.1 in our case, we have odds of 1.1 and your stake of 25 rand. Once you stake, you will make that profit on day one because 25 times 1.1, it's 27 rand 50. And this is saving. This is what you save aside from that profit because you can't take, guys, you don't do this thing of taking, once you make profit on day two, you want to increase the stake. You want to take that profit, all of it and then add it with that stake and then you bet imagine now 25 rand plus 27 50 it's 52 50 you want to bet with 52 rand 50 on day two so that if you lose you lose everything that's not so on guys there is money in this betting thing but if you're gonna play it like that no ways you're gonna make money the goal is to make money so how you do it this is you how you do it you make profit for instance yeah i've made profit of 27 rand which is 100 percent it's fine then I take 70% of my profit. You see, this saving 19 rand 25 cents, that's 70% of my profit. Besides the 25 rand stake, which comes back and that is ready to bet for the next day. So you take 70% of your profit and save it aside. You can see here on progress, I currently have that money on the bank. You're saving. And then next day, that means the 70% you keep, the 30% you add it to 25 friend stake, you increasing the stake so that next day you make more if it happens that you win. So next day the profit is 36 rand 58 because your stake is also increased by 30%. So once you win, you do the same thing, take 70%. That's your 70% of 36 rand 58, which is 25 rand 60, which is good, eh? And then you take that, you, you put it on the bank. You take 30%, you increase your stake for day two. You increase the stake so that on day three, you can have higher stake than day two. So that's the goal, guys. The aim is to make money. The aim is not to lose money. So what if it happens that you lose here on day three? Guess what? Your initial stake was 25 rand, guys. So you still have money on the bank of 44 rand, 85. So can you see that you still have profit still? So that 25 rand is still there. You know what I mean? You've just lost that 25 rand stake. I mean, that stake of day three if you happen to lose here. But you still have 44 and 85. That means you can still continue and start over. Not starting over. You're not even starting over because there's already profit on that. Because you started with 25 rand. So there's still money there, guys. So the aim is not to lose money. The aim is to make money. So that's what you do. So you just continue and just continue day one day two up to day 10 but you will notice here on day 14 if you check how much you have on the bank now on the progress there look how much you have on the bank when you get to day 14 you have 2838 and your stake there of 1000 you see that means in total now you will have that stake plus that money which is four or 3800 so instead of now increasing this stake by 30 percent just take increase this money at 500 here on this 1000 rand 18 something so you're going to add 400 and something not 500 exactly take that money from this and then you keep the rest you can use the rest if you want to then you increase your stake to that and then you keep your stake now constant so whenever this stake comes back you use the same stake whenever this stake comes back you use the same stake so the profits now you see the profit that's why you see savings and these are the same now can you see that that these are the same here and here are the same wait what i did now okay yeah here and here is the same thing 
because you do not take anything now you don't take 70 percent or what what you just take your whole hundred percent and put it on saving because you keep your stake constant now because you want to bet higher than that 1.5 but if you want to you can but i mean 12k in the end if it happened that you win all your bets now this is very easy easy but now question let's go in betting which markets can produce that 1.1 follow me now we are here i will be going to soccer in fact let me go to today's markets let me just uh okay let me just log in quickly okay i've just logged in and uh, let me go to to where is this now today's soccer if you go on today's soccer I want to show you a market whereby you can produce those odds quickly you don't even have to choose 20 teams no just four teams maybe four teams can be all right now let me take this match of liverpool versus leeds take this match and go to more markets now i have a question first for you how many times okay by the way this is the market second half totals look at that second half totals and look at that market over 0.5 so let me explain because i know not everybody understand this video is meant for everyone so let me first explain what does this market mean this market simply means that on the second half of the game you need at least a goal it doesn't matter who scored the goal doesn't matter no matter what, what kind of a goal you just need a goal in the second half just one goal if it happens that there's four goals it doesn't matter you just need a, just at least a goal on the second half now i have a question how many times have you seen big teams like liverpool for instance liverpool years not scoring on the second half or rather not only liverpool let me not only focus on big teams how many times have you seen matches of high magnitude man producing only goals on the first half like for instance let me see today what happened today uh let me go to matches that are finished here oh there we go in look at this the score line on the first half can you see that 2-1 the score line but on the second half at least there was a goal it doesn't matter who scored the goal and it doesn't matter the results let me see here on the first half the score was one nil look at that on the brackets one nil but look at the goals on the second half doesn't matter if it's 50 you're looking for just a goal oh i don't know what was the score line here oh there we go the score line was zero zero but guess what on the second half the match ended one nil because they score a goal on the second half so that's four goals eh now let's go torino look at that one goal in the first half there's three goals in the second half other one was also scored in the 91th minutes oh shit damn so i'm just trying to show you that guys here a typical example of what i'm talking about let's check here on these matches in france a goal in the first half a second one was scored in the second let's check this one two goals in the first half three goals were scored on the three goals were scored on the second Mets versus Troyes. nothing was scored in the first half two goals were scored on the second half guys i hope you can see what i mean none of matches that play today that have a goal all the goals scored in the second i don't know about germany though i didn't check oh there's nothing in germany i don't know about spain oh there's goals also let me see look at that atletico look at that look at atletico scoring all their goals on the second half look at that damn 99 minutes i wonder what happened there but anyway hmm so this is what i mean guys look at this for instance valencia versus Va or sasuna it's one one but look on the second half what will happen there will definitely be at least a goal on the second half because these teams both of them want to win so at least a goal so that's the market guys that i'm proposing to you i'm not saying it's market that has odds but look at these odds as much as they are so low oh i have already added this i will just take four matches or at least five matches guys so that you can see okay one match the reason why i like this market it's because it, 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 the chances are it's uh i can say how many are what are the chances i can say the chances are like 90 percent, guys i don't know if i will be mistaken but i believe the chances are 90. oh there we go and the another thing why i like this market is because of look at the odds the odds are always 
you will never find odds of zero point anything less than zero point one. You will never find odds of zero point zero zero. No, that's not zero point zero two. No, that's nothing. That's a cent. So everything here it's always more than a ten cent. So if you have these teams, look at for instance here we have two teams, and already you're sitting on thirty five. You're looking for one. Remember, in fact, one point one in our case. I'm looking for another match now. Uh, okay, let's take this one in Arab. I don't know, maybe it's probably my network now. But I'm looking for just, 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 just. There we go. You can see the odds are so low, guys, because this market is, it has high, a probability, high probability of the event happening. For that market to happen, there's high probability, guys. I just want to show you this. I wish I can, this network can be quick because this figure is already long. Uh, where is that? There we go. I just want to show you now if I choose, but of course, in our case now, we're choosing, we're just choosing Weeded Casablanca. I mean, Weeded is the favorite there. I hope that will be the case. I just want to show you now five teams, guys. Okay, there we go. Five teams now. There we go. Okay, there you go. Look at what you have. It's not even 1.1, guys. It's 1.37. So this is what you will have, guys. Look at the odds. Look at these odds. What are the probabilities that this will happen? And of course, now I'm, I've just chose randomly. But in your case, you won't be choosing randomly. You will be choosing teams. At least you will be choosing a, a teams, uh, like sort of teams, a matches that have, you know, firecracker, man. You know, matches that will produce fire. You know what I mean? Matches like, let's say, Liverpool versus Chelsea. Uh, Tottenham uh, versus Crystal Palace. You know what I mean? We, we choose such matches, you know, matches that have a gravy in it, matches that have that substance, if you know what I mean. Matches whereby at least these two teams will give each other a game and there will be goals. So you do expect them. You know, such games, even uh, analysts on the studio, when you're watching soccer, they will say this is a game of two halves. First half it was for Tottenham, second half was for Crystal Palace. So this was a game of two halves and as a result there will be goals there. So guys, I am not being, um, I don't know if I'm, exaggerating this but i believe this market is the right market for you to produce the odds of one as you can see just five teams your five i mean every day if you can i don't know or maybe every after one day and then you can produce that then you can get to 12k if it happened that you are right if you are consistent i'm willing i'm even willing to try this thing with you guys because not every day you will choose that market. Because sometimes, for instance, let me just choose something here. What are the chances that, okay, this is weed at Casablanca. I want to choose something for you guys. Where is this match for Liverpool now? Because this is the only match. Okay. I want to make something quickly, guys. Because this video is already long, man. English Premier League. Where is this? Where is this? Okay, now. Premier League. I want to make a quick one. I don't want this video to get to 14. Okay, now. Everton, where is this? Okay, let me just choose Liverpool. Let me not waste any further time. Liverpool. What are the chances that Liverpool will win here? We're going to watch both of us. All of us, in fact, we're going to watch this game. Trust me, what Liverpool might win this match. But if you give them a double chance, look at the odds. Liverpool or draw. So sometimes we won't be only choosing this market of over second half totals over 0 0.5. At least a goal in the second half. Sometimes we'll be mixing even with these. You know, because this is, a, I can say, more or less obvious, you know, but for, to be safe, we'll be choosing teams, this market, such such markets, we'll be mixing with such markets only on obvious, very obvious cases. You know, like for instance, I believe Liverpool, yeah, it's very obvious, guys. Liverpool will shambok these leads. So you can mix with it now when you out of options. So, yeah, tell me what you think, guys, about this market. I believe this is the way forward to make 12K. Imagine 12k guys in a month. That's something on top of your salary. Give me your feedback and tell me what you think. Don't forget to share the information.